Thank you for visiting our site. What we're featuring here today is our new tumbler. It's a wet stainless steel tumbler and also dry tumbler. The way we have it configured here is going to be the customary way we're selling. What you see is two 5 and 7 eighths inch drums, 10 inch diameter, and one 12 inch by 10 diameter drum. I'm going to pull the drums off so you can see them. All right. The way we're working these drums, on the interior of each drum, we have two paddles. That's to give us our churning action. We're spinning the drums at 40 RPM. As you can see, we have a very clean, easy, quick way to open it up, put it back on, and seal it. Nice and easy, nice and simple. And, and it also acts as our measuring line for when you're filling it with water and brass. So that's our drum, nice and clean. Now we also, after Christmas, will be offering this system with 12 inch diameter drums, so that'll be coming soon also for larger capacity turning. All right, so let's look over the unit. We're gonna start with what we're using here for our rods. We have built this machine as durable as it possibly can be built. What you're looking at here is we're using two three-quarter stainless shafts. On each end, you're looking at your bearing system. Each bearing system has zerk fittings so you can keep them oiled. We wrap the stainless steel shafting with surgical tubing. Very, very durable, very long term. This unit will last you years and years and years. Very stable and can take an immense amount of weight. Reason I mentioned the weight, um, this unit also, you can either do two 12s, you can do one single. This also is gonna go into our commercial version which will feature a 12 inch diameter drum. One single drum, it will have fittings on each end to have a hose coming in, filling it, hose coming out to drain it for a large, large capacity in a neighborhood of 9,000, nine millimeters on up. So let's get back to the construction of it. If you can see here, we have designed it with a tub. This, this tub here will hold about three quarters of a gallon of water. And the reason we have this here is if, if you forget, sometimes when people are in a rush, if you forget to tighten it all the way down, you may have a little drip. Everything will fall to the center. That way you don't have any leaks or anything going onto your counter. Now, I'll move over to our, our engine here, this is an internal fan-cooled half-horsepower system. We go with the half-horsepower system, a little bit of an overkill, but that's what we're looking for. Um, when you start turning the big, big drums, and if you want to move up to, you know, just spinning 3,000, 6,000, 9,000 rounds, you know, in one sitting, we wanted to go with the extra horsepower so the motor will last you for years and years and years. Now another feature uh, about this unit is you see seeing our digital clock. Now this is a digital timer that goes anywhere from one minute to 24 hours. And when you set it, if you want it to run one hour, two hour, three hour, or whatever it may be that you like to run your system at, we generally run it three hours. You program it to touch screen, and wherever you programmed it, in the system, the system will automatically turn off by itself. When it turns off, the next time you turn it on, it remembers your last setting. So you put it on three hours, the system runs, it turns off all by itself. You don't have to sit with it and babysit it. It goes off, next time you turn it on, it runs for three hours again. Just to show you just a quick run. 
very quiet, very smooth. Right now, I just have it set at a minute. So after a minute, it would automatically turn off by itself. Now we go to the overall construction of this chassis. We didn't want to go with a, which you see normally out there, you know, it's just a welded frame. We went with this system for a lot of different reasons. One, so we could have that inner tub and catch any water or any debris. Two, we designed this unit so it fits on top of any normal counter. So it's a countertop unit. Also, we designed it this way to easily fit our electronics, nice and neat and clean. No wires other than what you see in here exposed. We have a fiberglass cover that goes over all of our belt and pulley system. So when it's running, you're not watching. Your kids can't come up and stick their fingers in it. So it's a very, very safe unit. Um, aside of that, what I like also about this, the way this chassis is made, this is a hand-laid fiberglass chassis. It is coated with white gel coat. It is as durable as it can be. Basically, it's the equivalent of a big power boat that you'd see out on the water. Um, very strong, very, very durable. It will last you a lifetime. Now, as you see what we have here, we have the stainless steel and we have a custom dry mix that we're going to be offering soon. A lot of people are going to go with the stainless steel and water system. I personally like to do both, depending on what you're trying to do. A lot of guys don't like fooling with the wet systems because they have to wait for their bullets to dry, they have to wait for their casings to dry before they can start working on them. What I do sometimes, and actually most of the time, is I'll start with my dry mix. Let's, I'll show you. Let me put my drums back on. Okay, so here we have our system. A lot of times I like to do volume or I like to get my stuff moving fast. So let's say we come back from shooting. Say I'm shooting the full auto Uzi. I would take and put all of my nine millimeters in this drum. I would be running dry. These two drums, I might have my two two threes and my 40 cals or 45s. So you can run three different calibers at one time. I can be running dry here. I can be running wet, dry, or however kind of combination you like to speed up your process. What I like to do is from the range, I like to go dry. Then I can immediately take my shells and they come out very clean. I like to go straight from that to decapping. Then I'll move over and go into the wet and get them perfectly clean. Totally your choice. But as you can see down here, we have a very interesting mix that we're doing with the dry that nobody else is doing. And it does a very, very nice job at cleaning your brass. No different than a vibratory system um, that you'd see you know, anywhere. They, they have, have them all over. But you can actually, you know, the rotary system working with the dry mix has, has turned out to be very nice and it's, very, it's quick and it'll get you going fast if you choose not to, you know, if you're not worried about waiting for your brass to dry. Aside of that, we also sell it just in, in, in any kind of configuration you can ask for. This is our system that we like to start with. The reason we're doing this is if you're going to load 3,000 rounds, this drum will hold 3,009 millimeters. If you're going to load 3,009s in this drum, and you're going to have about two and a half gallons of water in here, five pounds of stainless, you're pretty much looking at about 48 pounds. So what we decided to do is go with the smaller drums also for the older gentlemen, or just for people who don't want to have to pick up that much weight. So you can either, this is a standard way that we're selling this system, 
or you can order it with four small ones. Or if you're not worried about the weight, you're a big guy, you can just go ahead and get your two big drums. Personally, I like the smaller multi drums because you can do more calibers at the same time. Now, in the future, very near future, we're going to have some really nice instructional videos of us actually putting the dirty brass in. And we're not just going to show you a pretty picture. You know, we're not going to just show you dirty brass going in and then all of a sudden the camera goes back to some pretty looking brass. We are going to do a video for you, the good, the bad, and the ugly. We're going to start from the get-go. We're going to show you what it's like to get the water out of it, what it's like to deal with the stainless steel, and we have some very unique products coming out that makes it very, very simple, very, very nice to work with stainless because it is a very easy system when you have the right parts. And we're going to do an instructional video and we will show you from start to finish, I mean the last inch. And there's a lot of things that people need to know that they're just not showing you out there. And we're going to show you every bit of it. So we keep a lookout on the site. Those videos will be coming really soon. And um, again, you know, thank you for visiting our site. I hope you like our product. And um, we'll be seeing you soon in more videos. Thank you.